Hello everybody, welcome back to Buzzard's Roost. I am Buzzard. And the little miniature greenhouse that I made, well my chickens free roam, so I wasn't able to leave it uncovered. And they got a little toasty. So I picked them up and I got this. Here, I'll just walk down here. It's like a, uh, I was going to use this herb garden. Sorry about the wind. I was going to use this herb garden. It's an old feed trough that I propped up and so it'll be right here on the back porch. Let's see if I can see that. I got it propped up. Anyway, so I had to, since they was getting burned, I had to transfer them. So kind of give you an idea of some, the way it was growing, or what was growing. Some of the stuff died because of the heat. But like I said, I couldn't leave it uncovered because of the chickens free, free ranging. And... So, I moved it over there. Hopefully, they'll do pretty good. You can hear that chicken back there in the background. That means I got a fresh egg over there. But anyway, to show you, my chicken is free range. Uh, I lock them up at night. Keep the night critters away from them. Uh, Still waiting on my dirt. This uh, Kung Fu flu has created some other issues that, of course, was unforeseen. And then we had the rain, so the guy couldn't get into the to the yard where the dirt is to get me a load of dirt and a load of manure. So I'm still waiting on that. I got to give him a call. It's been dry for about three days now, two or three days. So I started working on another project. That right there is going to be my solar dehydrator. Now I made it wider than what the than what I've seen before, and the reason I made it wider. My brother's daughter, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, my brother's daughter replaced all the windows in their house. So I got extra windows now. Uh, these two big ones here, I don't know if you can see, yeah. They will be going on the solar dehydrator. Um... My, one of my neighbors, he's uh, retired, and his wife, I th think, is retired too, uh, borrowed my rototiller. I gave him some seeds to get them started. I should be getting that back today, and hopefully getting some uh, rototiller done between the fence line and the road, and get my boy, my youngest boy and my youngest daughter out here to do some planting. And it'll be kind of like a, I guess you could say a community garden, except I'll be doing the work on it. But the neighbors, which are, uh, most of them are elderly, retired, or, draw, you know, drawn their social security. So they'll be able to stop anytime they want. If they see something or they need something that's there, they'll be able to get it. Uh, remember the apple seeds that I said whenever I dehydrated the Granny Smith apples and I noticed they was uh, some of them was sprouting well I've already given two away Let's see if I can I still got some growing so now I've got to figure out where I'm going to put them videos are going to be uh, not probably not as many for the simple fact that uh, staying at home and on my cell phone internet is really really slow when I run out of high speed and I got a cheaper package because 
you know what, I'm on a fixed income too. So, the videos, there probably won't be as many videos uh, unless things change here. Uh, I'm hoping to get my satellite internet uh, next week, hopefully. And whenever I get that, I'll be able to download videos from the house instead of having to drive into into town, which is uh, about 15 miles round trip. So, anyway, I don't know how long this video will take to download. Hopefully not too long. Remember, only dead fish follow the flow of the stream. Don't be a dead fish. This is Buzzard. See ya.